everyone, it's Nisha. So today I'm going to do at last my jewelry collection by Caroline Brook. So a lot of you know Caroline is my sister-in-law. She's my husband's um, sister and she's a very talented uh, jewelry designer. She works all by herself, designs all the pieces herself, uh, herself and makes them herself. And I have quite a collection now, you know, some of them I bought, some of them she's gifted to me, you know, for birthdays and um, um, Christmas and that sort of stuff. Um, I love her pieces. All the pieces that I have are sterling silver or they are 24 karat gold plated sterling silver. And there is a difference between you know when you buy the cheaper um, gold plated stuff they are usually just dipped this is called verme i believe a gold plating which is double coat of 24 karat gold so it is really good stuff well made and i thought i'd give her a shout out and you can all order stuff from her she's got three websites i mean she's got her own website she sells some stuff on etsy and some on not on highstreet.com and she sells in some galleries um now i can't remember the names of every piece so i will put it down I will ask her what they are on code and I will put it down on a screen while I'm talking about them because a lot of this stuff is not on the actual website but if you really like something that you see you can contact her through one of her websites and she'll be happy to make it for you. I know she's done that already for some of my subscribers. Okay um, so I will start with my oldest bits and this is the necklace you remember this necklace this is so old now um i don't know how i'm going to do it really if i should put them all on probably be the best so this is the necklace it is like i said uh selling silver and it's quite uh, highly polished but it's got like a hammered uh, indentations in it. I see if I can lipstick on teeth again. I see if I can zoom in on that and I have matching earrings for that and there they are and you can wear them on this ear then they go inwards or on this ear when they go outwards. I never know which way I prefer it. I will just put one earring in otherwise it will take too long. Um, so you can wear them together or if you find this is too much you can just wear one or the other i love love this and honestly this is probably one of the first pieces i have ever bought from her um, so it is my oldest piece the next necklace which is very very old as well is the rose i think it is called rose um, always get my hair caught in it um, and this is highly polished one with a bit of oxidized um, middle I think she does them as well a bit hammered not as polished I I don't know because this one again is quite old so let me put that one on I love this one because this one is one of those um, you know when you are not wearing anything special like an everyday necklace it just looks great with everything you know with jeans with with a dress with anything um then i have my b she's very inspired i think her her collection for a while was very nature inspired and woodland inspired um this is my b necklace i'll probably show it to you here and I will zoom in on it very very cute um, I love that necklace again well I love them all, all obviously otherwise I wouldn't have got them so this is the B necklace I love the chain on that one as well, it's quite shimmery. 
Now this one I absolutely love too and this is like the triple necklace but if you notice they are all attached to here. You know when you have those triple necklaces they go, the, all the three chains go from here, they get all really mat matted and tangled up and this one doesn't. So let me show you that. This is just so beautiful. I don't know if this is not too... Um, let me change maybe the settings because I don't know if you can see it well. Maybe I should have worn black top, not white one. Okay, hopefully now it's a bit darker. I've changed the settings a bit so you can see it. So, I love this one. It's so beautiful. You get here grapevine leaf like a bunch of grapes and then two longer grapevine leaves love this one. Oh, I wanted to show you if you want something to go with that actually do you know when I look at these pieces so many of them are so similar <laughs> obviously I know what I like but some are very similar well similar style so I've got these little earrings which are a grape vine leaf earring can you see on a little circle little grapevine earring so they would go, go really nicely with this necklace and I show you another necklace that I'm just seeing that is so similar uh, I mean it's similar theme the necklace looks a bit different I hope you can see a bit better now I will show them to you because I keep them I bought myself from um, eBay uh, this and it's, it has a, like a stand but I actually hang it on the inside of my wardrobe door so you know they don't get dusty but you will be able to see it a bit better on those so I'll show you that at the end. Okay so these are the earrings so they go perfectly with this necklace let me show you now the necklace that I is so similar. I bought this um, like sort of display things because I never wore them all enough because when they sit in my jewelry box they get all tangled up and you don't see them all with that I can see them all every morning and I can just pick what I want okay so this is like a <laughs> can't believe it that I've got that one as well um, so this is another um, grapevine and grapevine leaf necklace but it's a bit different but I love this one as well. I suppose even though it's the same, the same theme but as you can see this one is a bit shorter so it depends what top I am wearing I will choose this one or the triple one you know. But I think I don't know I just love it <laughs> so those earrings would go with that one as well as I'm wearing these earrings I will show you another necklace that is sort of woodland nature inspired that the earrings would still go with is this one and this is like a twig I don't know if you can see I think it's so cute it's got actually like this little uh, not as normal twig would have little beads and little um, grapevine and a grapevine leaf hanging of that little pearl and like I said these earrings would go with that one as well I think maybe if I do that so you can see so there is this one Oops gorgeous I know she does also uh, hoop earrings that um, they look like a twig you know so um, but I have so many hoop earrings okay one of my older ones is that one I don't actually know if she still does those it's like a you know I told you before I absolutely love anything round circles hoops and when I'm looking at it now I have a lot of circles and hoops. <laughs> uh, this is just a um, hammered round circle 
with some, I don't know if they are Swarovski beads, uh, but I don't think she makes this one anymore. So I won't spend too much time on it. That one is very old as well. Um, you have probably seen this one as well, which I love. I talked about it before. This is acorn necklace. So on here, you have a, and they are very heavy. It's very, very solid. You know, it's not like your empty um, light silver. There is a lot of silver in here. So you have that whole acorn and here just the acorn top. And she actually has uh, picked out an acorn from her garden and took a mold off of it. So it's actual acorn from her garden. And again, I love this one too. How cute is that? Okay, I've shown you all the ones from here. Now, I've got a set. I've got a starfish necklace. Um, so there is the starfish. I will try to zoom in so you can see the texture of it as well. That will really not show up on this white top. What possessed me? to wear a white top. Let me do that. Okay, and I have matching earrings and these are not studs, these ones that go right through it. I think these are so sweet and so cute. Look at that. Oh, these are the starfish earrings and necklace. I mean, you don't have to buy it as a set. You can mix and match uh, whatever you like. You you know it's not as a set but I think you can buy it as a set so you must understand that when I buy things from her I don't really go to the website when I'm in her house I'm like a kid in a sweetie shop I'm going through all her stash it's so much fun okay what shall we do next I've got shell necklace this is so pretty so it's an open shell it's not closed because I'm sure she does a smaller one that is all closed in um, like a full shell this is more like a half shell uh, it's very highly polished inside so it's very shimmery and then you can see the details of the shell so and I love also the little thing that it hangs on you know it's not just your simple ring so with this one you can wear it that way or you can wear it that way also it would look nice I remember trying um, to put on the same chain the other shell that is all full so shall I hang it I am so annoyed that I wore this white top but I really can't be bothered to go and change why didn't I think silver and white Okay, so this is, you could wear it like this, or you could turn the chain over and wear it like this. Very, very pretty. I will leave the circle ones for, for the end. I have three really similar necklaces, but I don't care because they all a bit different and go with different things. Okay, very similar to the shell necklace, but it looks totally different is I don't know what this one is called but as you can see this is um, I don't know what would you call it sort of like a shell but it is not a shell with a pearl inside and I think this is freshwater pearl so it is um, oxidized um, inside and it's quite textured and then you've got the little pearl I think this is just so so delicate and just beautiful you know very understated I love that one I don't know what that one is called mind you I don't know what most of them are called <laughs> um, 
now this one is totally different to what i would ever choose but i just felt this is such a lovely piece um it's a bit i would say more boho i mean not boho in a um um sense that it's a huge necklace but it is on this dark chain i don't actually know what that chain is uh, it's got some semi-precious stone here i think it might be jade i don't know and this a hammered piece and I think this looks so gorgeous you know like with just jeans and white t-shirt so that's what this one looks like love 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 it oh I could show you these earrings although I don't know if she still makes them these are very very old as well um, it's almost like a water lily leaf with and i remember that this stone is called amazonite and it's a beautiful aqua turquoise stone i suppose that would go with this necklace i don't know if she makes those but i love these i think she can still make them but if she doesn't have the amazonite she can make it um with something different with a pearl or but yeah i love these ones too I feel like I'm doing QVC <laughs> um, but you know I just know that whenever I wear something of hers I always get so many comments and questions um, and um, a lot of you wanted to see the collection okay the, the, another one that is really really sweet is like peas in a pod and you have this uh, silver pod with freshwater pearls oh, hang on that one will never show on my white top can you see how sweet this one is let me put that on i put it on and i move my top down okay so this is the peas in a pod i'm really hot look how right i am I think it's all these lights, they make me so hot. So that's gorgeous too. Okay, and now let's go to the circles because <laughs> you know my obsession with circles. Um, and I have three that are so similar, honestly. So you have seen me already wearing this one. And this is like circle in circle and obviously sterling silver and the one in the middle is a um, gold plated sterling silver circle. So you have seen that one, I will just put it to and what I love wearing with these is these earrings and these are the Vermeil gold plated um, sterling silver i put them on now the cute thing about it is that you see the front they are called front and back earrings the front is just a this little circle so if you had a spare butterfly you could just wear this on its own Hang on. you see you could just wear this on its own and then this chain with this circle is actually attached to the butterfly so you put that in the back I will put these on because the next three necklaces are circles and I think they got go really well okay so these are the earrings and I often wear them with this necklace um, I wouldn't normally make silver and gold but I think it looks gorgeous because the necklace has silver and gold in it so I have this one with circles, <laughs> then I have this one, which is sort of similar, uh, but these are smaller circles and obviously hanging down. And again, you've got two silver ones and one gold in the middle. I hope you can see that. Let me put my top now higher so that looks gorgeous and then this one 
is similar again but it's much longer and I love wearing these two together or the other one and this one together and this one is a bit longer and it has uh, the silver circle and the gold one with a little bead on it. This length is so nice when you have a t-shirt maybe a bit um, deeper than this one um, and you know some necklaces are too short or too long that they hide behind the t-shirt so this one is really good for that. I like wearing these two together. You might think it's a circle circle overload hang on hope you can see that but i like to wear these together or i wear the long one with this one i could wear them all really <laughs> yes so you can see i am quite obsessed with circles i think that's it that's it for necklaces now let me do um the rest of the earrings and these ones I've had for, for quite a while. These are called cherry blossom earrings. So, as you can see, you have on like a oxidized twig, little cherry blossoms and they are with posts. So you can wear them any way you like them. You can wear them sideways, downwards, upwards is just up to you. Now these ones, I think they are called pearl, pearl flower because this is fresh, I think this is fresh water pearl or is it mother of pearl? I think it's actually mother of pearl with tiny little uh, flowers and these are quite dangly. I wore them um, in my videos before you've seen them so these are beautiful too and then you have I don't know what these ones are called they look a bit like water lily so these are stud earrings but quite nice in size really I really don't want to take it off but you get the idea so these are really nice you know sometimes we want a stud earring but one that is a bit bigger and uh, then my very favorites and I wear them a lot you can see them because it's such a simple shape I feel like it goes with most of necklaces is this um, bar earrings but it's not a straight bar can you see it's a bit wavy and also is quite textured it's a bit hammered absolutely beautiful these are like my you know everyday earring should be you've seen me wearing them because i wear them a lot whoops i just don't want to take the others one the others off you know you get just that i love them so i wear these a lot oh and I forgot to show you I've bought myself as well one of these from eBay because again if I don't see the you know when you shove them in your jewelry bo box um, and you don't see them and you don't wear it as much and when I have it sitting on my vanity and every morning I get up I can see them all and just put them on and the last pair you have seen me that was my latest purchase are these Vermeil um, rectangular earrings and these are again okay they're not circle but you know they that sort of shape that I love and I think these are very very elegant I think she does little square ones as well um, she does quite a lot of these type of earrings so that's those and I think that's it I have oh I've shown you the bracelet um, when I was talking about it it's like a big link silver chain bracelet so she she does a lot of bracelets as well I don't wear that many bracelets they seem to annoy me a bit you know I, I suppose I'm not used to it because I don't wear them all the time but oh, I love that that looks so good 
yes yeah, so that was my collection of Caroline's jewelry so there are the necklaces I might just zoom in on that this is that triple one um now these ones and of course I'm wearing two <laughs> and here are the other ones so this is what I've got what I've collected over the years from Caroline Brook I really love all her stuff but you know I might be a bit biased but they are really beautiful she does a lot of commissioned work as well and she does this funny thing actually it's very fashionable I don't know if just in the UK but uh, she makes a lot of divorce rings so uh, women come to her they just got divorced and they bring their engagement ring and a um, wedding band and they want it all melted and something completely new made out of it and they call it divorce ring so she's been really making a lot of those so um that's the latest trend okay i hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and i see you soon bye